um, uh, they desperately want this to succeed. So we face uh, another challenge. Um, it's um, it's not these will be comparables, but we definitely see this is a different challenge. And yes, I agree. We must step up if we want to, you know, to to be competitive until the end of the game. Duncan Weir made a big impact late in the game last time when you played the Bulls, albeit in defeat. Was was his contribution then the reason why he's been selected on the bench this time? Oh, look, the ball flies a little bit further over here because of the height above sea level. And he has that ability to kick a little bit um, from further further out. You know, we uh, against um, against Munster, we declined a couple of opportunities because of the little bit of wind in our face. And you know, it's just George's range is just up to a certain point where, where Duncan's got a little bit more uh, distance in it. And then that's one part of it. Yes, he contributes a little bit immensely off the field and his experience is counting in his favour at the moment. He's been a, a cool in a lot of test matches before, so maybe from that perspective, I mean, that, that just gave him the nod there the last this week. Thank you. Oh, Grampian. Hi, Franco. Um, it's the last game in Glasgow Colours for a couple of guys, um, George Turner and Ollie Kebble. Do you sense you'll get something special from these two tomorrow? Yeah, definitely from them. I think they would, would love to, you know, leave the, the jersey for the next person and a, a, with a lot of responsibility in it. But uh, yeah, I think we from our side also. I think the rest of the team is also going to have to step up to, you know, send them off on a proper in a proper way. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, some of that emotion in that, but um, uh, it will hopefully is all channeled into to what needs to be done. Thanks, Michael. Cool. Good luck. Cool. Yes. Graham McPherson. Hi, guys. Franco, you're a man who always likes to be quite organised. I just wonder how this week has been for you. Obviously, the players coming at different times and not being able to train as much. How have you found that kind of disruption? No, we weren't disrupted at all. So um, it was always the plan to be on Wednesday afternoon. Um, even the last time when we came out to the Bulls, we just came in different flights. and it's, it's, it worked, it's There was no change in it. It's important fact. Uh, Part of it was that we got here in time to, you know, to do the prep here and have enough time to recover. So, no, uh, um, we have anticipated something like this in the, in the weeks before. So, um, no surprises, uh, nothing that unsettled the team. And we followed the similar schedule and routine that we had when we played here last time. So, a lot of similarities to the boys. And that's basically why the reason for the for the being organised is to give them opportunity to to focus on what's that task at hand and not be distracted by something. So I'm very happy. Um, the preparation and the travel will not be an excuse this week. And Kyle, can I just ask you, it's the, the same referee as last weekend. Did you have to try and get him on side after the way the match started against Munster? Uh, no, not really. Um, look, I think we, we know that we need to make a step up and, you know, in our, in our discipline and, and the way we started that game. Um, you know, like Franco <laughs> says, it'll be a whole new challenge this week and, um, you know, the Bulls uh, have all the power to make us pay for, for mistakes like that. But um, again, you know, I think you can't control, you know, what the referee feels and, and decisions he makes. So we can only control them, you know, our actions and, and how we respond to them. So that's where our focus is. Thanks, guys. All the best. Cool. South African media that are online, you'll have one question. We'll start with Ashwak and then we will go to Morgan and then we will round off with Simon Rickett. Ashwak? Thanks, Lunga. Franco, have there been extra Afrikaans lessons this week to work out the Bulls lineup calls? Because I know uh, you guys are always a great mauling team. Um, yeah, no, no need for that. I think, um, I think you know that games moved on to we beyond lineup calls anymore. I think the guys, have, it's by the back end of the season. I think it will be uh, it will take more than just understanding what the lineup calls is. Morgan. Thanks, Lungo. Hi, Carl. Hi, Franco. Franco, this is not your first final um, at Loftus, uh, 2007, if I remember correctly, but how special is this being able to bring a team over to play in a, a stadium where you actually played as a player as well? Oh, look, it's fantastic. The, the Bulls have, was magnificent in my career as a player. Um, uh, I've had I've, I've fond memories and some of my best friends, you know, came out of that uh, 98 group and all the period that I've been here so um, yeah it's, it's 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 excellent to come out here um, I've been here obviously now a couple of times uh, during the years with the, with the Chicas and, and, and 
with the Springboks. So um, seeing Loftus full is, is always is always special and a, and a special motivation. So um, to share this experience with people I work with uh, now currently uh, is just fantastic. I do feel, regardless of the result, um, this experience will will mean a lot to um, my all the teams. Um, you know, experience levels and what they what they uh, can experience in world rugby. I still believe that Loftus is the best place to play rugby. The ball travels a little bit further. The wind never blows. The temperature is always the same, and the crowd's always enthusiastic. So um, definitely um, a proud moment, but also excellent to to share it with with his boys to take it um, on board for the rest of their career. Simon. Okay, Anemi. Thank you, Linda. Um, I just have one question for Kyle. Um, how do you erase the memory of your last visit to South Africa? What would your message be to your team members? Oh, they, uh, we, we certainly won't erase it. Um, you know, it was only a month ago, and you know there were lots of valuable lessons. Um, you know that can help us tomorrow, um, and I think we've. We've used that by just trying to take those lessons to make sure that you know we grow as a team and grow with the decisions we make um, and use it as use it as fuel for tomorrow. Thank you. Recording stopped. <laughs>